क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोज फ्रॉम ई कीडा Hello friends in the previous lecture we have discussed about the biodegradable polymers as well as we have also discussed about the certain examples related to it and now in this topic we are going to talk about the uses of polymers so in this topic basically we are going to talk about the uses of the polymers that is what we have basically learned about the preparation and this is what i am going to talk about so now let us understand this one <music> so friends now let me talk about the uses of polymers so starting with polyethylene or polythene so the uses are as follows that is the first one let me talk about the so now let me talk about the first point that is it is basically used as an insulator obviously we understand that is polyethylene obviously it doesn't conduct electricity and that's the reason that it is used as an insulator and okay about the next one that is it is used in the packing materials also so packing materials whether it could be an object or whether it could be any delivery that is what we have to that is preserve so that any dirt should not uh, attack on that particular object so therefore for packing purpose basically the polyethylene is basically used and okay about the next one that is it is used in the household as well as laboratory wares so for example if you talk about the uh, any other utensils or suppose if you are talking about any other objects that are basically used in the household works so in that case let me talk about that is bucket or that could be a toothbrush so in that case basically this polythene are been used it is also used in laboratory wares so this was the first uses of that is the polythene that is what i was discussing about and now let me talk about the next one so friends the next that we have is teflon and basically teflon is used as a lubricant or it could be used as an insulator as well as it is also used in basically in cooking wares so let me talk about more information regarding teflon so teflon coating is basically a very widely used technique and this is what we are using so as to basically so as to protect the metal so teflon is used in coating or basically teflon coating is basically used on the surgical equipments like scissors and all so this was related to the teflon and now let me talk about the next one that is uses of orlon and neoprene so let me talk about the first one that is orlon is nothing but it is used in the formation of a synthetic fiber and as well as it is also known as synthetic wool so therefore the orlon is basically used in the preparation of synthetic fibers especially and this is what i was talking about the uses of orlon and now let me talk about the next one that is neoprene so neoprene are nothing but they are insulators as well as they are also used in the preparation of the conveyor belts as well as they are also used in that is printing rollers so this two belts or this roller is what i am going to talk about it is made up of that is neoprene and now let me discuss about the next topic the next is the uses of buna s and buna n so talking about the uses of buna s so buna s is basically used in preparation of automobile tires as well as it is also used in footwear as also so as to add the sole and this sole is obviously it is very much stronger when we are talking about the shoes so even that footwear shoes it is made up of buna s and now let me talk about the next one that is buna n so buna n is basically used in oil sealants for example if many tanks obviously that consist of uh, the oils and obviously this oil is very much flammable in nature so that's the reason that this oil should not leak so that's the reason they are also used in oil seals so and now let me talk about the next one that is also it is used in that is tank linings so this was related to the buna s as well as the uses of buna and and now let me talk about the next one so talking about the next one that is decron so decron is basically used in the preparation of safety belts it is also used in that is tire cord and also it is used to make tents and talking about the nylon 6 in fact nylon 6 is used to make tires it is also used to make that is cords and ropes and that's the reason that they have a very good tensile strength and obviously it is used in the preparation of fibers also so this was related to this too and now let me talk about the next one so talking about nylon 6x so nylon 6x is basically used in the preparation of brushes so all this synthetic material that is what i'm going to talk about is basically used in brushes it is also used to prepare that is synthetic fibers as well as it is also used in the preparation of parachutes and now let me talk about the next one that is bakelite so bakelite is used for preparation of gears and obviously these gears are basically used in vehicles and now let me talk about the next one that is it is used as a protective coating and that's the reason that it is acting as an insulator also and last but not the least that is it is used in electrical fittings so all the buttons or if we talk about the electrical equipments or accessories they are basically made up of bakelite and this is what i was talking about so thank you friends for watching 
this video i hope you have understood this video very clearly and i hope i will see you next time till then don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell thank you so much